Hello friends, today's detail is a 2003 GMC Yukon. Uh, this is the second detail out of the five. Uh, this one is not in too bad a shape as far as trash. There's a little bit of trash, but nothing too bad. Uh, this is actually just a cheap vehicle. So the seller said, don't spend a lot of time on it. Just vacuum it, clean it up, and we'll get it out on the line. In fact, it already has its decals on it. So I drove it here with the decals. It's ready to go. We just need to clean it up. So um, let's go take a look at it. So this vehicle is actually not too awful bad. Um, of course, there were some kids in the back seat. So you're going to have some things like that. Let's pull this out. Not too bad, but the carpet is stained up quite a bit. You know, it is what it is. For being its age, I'm gonna say it's actually in pretty decent condition. Now we've got some headrest issues. I don't know if he's gonna take care of that, but I think it's ready for the line. for being a cheap car. Now these seats do fold down. I raised them up, but I kind of wanted to show, you know, but it really smells good in here. I mean, it doesn't stink or anything. The seats are stained up, but definitely not what you would expect for a almost 20 year old vehicle. do my best to show what the back seat this third row seat looks like but i'll show you more on this other side this back does not look that bad just a good vacuum and it'll be all right got some sand and dirt in there I mean, it's going to clean up pretty well. This one looks like it had a car seat in it. We're not gonna do too much with it. Uh, the seller said for being an inexpensive car, um, we're just gonna do a basic wipe down and vacuum. Don't spend a lot of time on it is what he said. So I told you the plan of action. I got my detail brush. So I'm gonna use my detail brush and see if I can't get some of these nooks and crannies and uh, maybe make it up, a, you know, make it look a little better. So, um, but first, some more coffee. It's chilly, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. But let me tell you, I am so grateful to have a friend who was willing to let me use her space. So. I just want to take a minute, even though I say on every video now, thank you, Beth, thank you. I am so grateful to have a place where I can do this in the winter time and I don't have to worry about impositioning people and all of that. So just know how much I am so grateful. More coffee.
This is the kind of stuff that he wants. So, since he's the boss, he gets what he wants. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. But I do tell you that when you buy a used car that is pretty aged, especially like this, 10 years, something like that, just go ahead and have it detailed. That way you know it's clean. Um, this is just basically for... Um, it's just a facelift, I guess. This is just a touch-up. It's not anything fancy. Um, if this were something fancy, this would be a detail that would take me many, many, many hours. Right now, I'm on hour two. Alrighty, everything looks really good, ready to go. I did what the seller wanted. Wipe it down and give it a good vacuum. We got that one cleaned up. Carpet's not in very good shape, but it's a decent vehicle. It will take care of somebody for a little while. Take a look here. Pretty clean now. Makes a difference. Running a vacuum cleaner. Oh. Yeah, running a vacuum cleaner makes a world of difference in a vehicle. <laughs> it's amazing. This looks good. I put the mats back in. Got this cleaned up. Looks pretty decent now. I'd say ready for the lines. So, I just want to say thank you for hanging out on my channel. I apologize for the format change, but it will get better once I figure out if I'm the one doing something wrong or if I'm just picking the wrong music. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I want to thank you all for hanging out on my channel and if you'll take a moment to like and comment and subscribe i would love to have you and until the next video i hope you all have a good one peace <laughs>